welcome back to the part 2 of installation of Windows XP. Enjoy using Windows XP! <laughs> uh, this Windows XP installation. Uh, are you supposed to <laughs> see that right now? Okay, we're going to restart again. And I just have to make sure this thing. I have to by so I have to do such as D, E, and F. Sometimes it's hard enough to see. I suppose to it. Is asking her how to display settings. Now, of course, you just said we got the current driver is not installed. Uh, person always says I'd have to see it that way because I just have to post to it. I'm not supposed to see it that way because all that, all that junk. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click next. Here's a check your updates. We'll say not right now because I was just about to see me. No. I'll go ahead and skip the internet right now. I just supposed to do it. Um, I'll just <laughs> to me. I'll go ahead. Oh, that's just to do it right now. Me. I'll go ahead and skip right now. I was supposed to do it. We're going to hit no, I don't want this at the bay this time. We're going to type your name on here. We're going to type Shane Johnson. There we go. Thank you. We're going to click finish. I just have to make sure that this thing used to be dry. Such as it has supposed to do it. Because all that, all that junk. It cuts, it cuts, and cuts, and it's supposed to it. Ah. Uh. It cuts, and it's supposed to have a resolution. As I'm on a direct. Now, this thing has supposed to it. This is up was. But now I know what's happened. And, um, who said welcome to Windows XP? We're going to collect the right start and set up, and, um,. Your name, your user account information, and all kind of stuff. And you might check with this with Windows or not, or check for an error connection, all kind of stuff. Now, I would say, oh yeah, we're done. Actually, no, we're not. The style which is up there is I have Windows XP set so on how it's here. I have to close all these balloons. Um, anyways, um, now I got I guess an operating system installed. Okay, now back to the issue about knowing how to do and an and, um, selection pop up Windows XP. Let's go to get fixed. Okay, what's it supposed to do? Well, I'm gonna click on my computer. Select properties. Was there what to see if I have to do that right now? We're gonna do a uh, advanced tab. 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 Advanced you want to click this edit button. What you're going to do is it have to pop out the boot file. And it says to edit start off file options manually, click edit. You're going to be extremely careful right here. When you mess this up, one will not start. Okay. Uh, click. Alright, let's just, let's just see it. Oh, just a Okay, and click on save. Oh, that problem's fixed. We're going to restart this to show you.
Okay, now Windows XP is not as good as supposed to. Okay, now is it Windows XP? You know, you're doing it with installing an official service pack four and using the user device on the disk. In this case, it could be the service pack two, and you're going to use installing an official service pack four, along with Internet Explorer 8 and other drivers that are using for lots of stuff. So, actually, the first thing next is all drivers. Okay, now it's Windows install. I'll go ahead and check the resolution setup because it has supposed to it on this drive. Now it isn't as opposed to it. You guys see just take the flash drive because the network driver is not installed right now. I'm going to have to pick it up with whatever, which one it is. You got, you got the Aferos driver, the audio, display chipset, LAN, modem, and touchpad. So which Windows XP is the homeiest way, easiest way, you know, you have USB ports on it. This is the display chipset software installation utility. This is the Chipset software installation utility. And of course, got a computer driver installation. Uh, which, which will vary. You know, look at the ATI software. Uh, 2020. 14 year old driver. Okay, now the Windows is completed. We'll say no, we start the computer later. But this supposed to do it, how supposed to do it, stuff was. We'll go ahead and we start the computer. It's the land driver. Looks like this is it, how supposed to do it right next speed. Okay, now the bottom says connect to the land. Drivers was successfully installed. But the most thing have to do right there, we have to do it. It's the modem driver. Now the model is completed. Well, there's uh, what comes next. This the audio driver. I found Windows XP, and now we're supposed to. Okay, now it's okay. We got a couple more things. We got the touchpad. And also include a uh, Ephoros driver.
Well, this Windows XP has it right as our information. And, um, who's got the new hardware? Is that our devices? Windows got this. Uh, a couple of these for installation. Okay, now we're going finish. Uh, we got kind of one more thing to show you. It is called the 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 the, the pointing device. It was supposed to it how it's supposed to it. And um we got to see it and um which Windows XP installation. Um you can always say it has to see it. And finally, that's it you got that. I never got a display for news and news never had eight problems. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart the computer now. Now now it's Windows install, I'll go ahead and check the resolution setup for Windows XP. Uh, this is like something else. Um, hey, don't think about Windows XP. How is it that supposed to do it? Yeah, this is be clear to have you some reason. Just spawn turn off. I'm gonna do a advanced appearance tag. Click it effects. Change spawn standard is clear type. And select OK. It's select OK for this reason. I'll tell you how it's supposed to do it. Where we do it? Do it. So where we go ahead and type red generator for the internet. I'm going to go into my H key users, default, control panel, and click on the desktop model. There is C, watch fonts movie orientation, and fonts movie type. I click up to you see up on the screen. Now I'm going to log out to show you. Okay, clear. Clear types is enabled in the uh, login screen. Next step, we have to go ahead and install uh, unofficial service pack four. And this thing clear that if a service pack do this, it's done with the uh, Internet Explorer five. And are there any updates? And a bunch of install, uh, Windows XP saves time update. See the first appearance of this, they did already a fax a couple years ago. And surprisingly, not, this Windows not included in the service pack 4. So we'll go ahead and this update first. There is a, there is a, there is a PG, it will just successfully install. Click finish. Now I'm going to run official service pack 4. Which Windows XP Home Edition gets the easiest way to do it has to be ports on it. I just have to make sure for this thing that it also is just have to see it that way because I need to go to both of them. has to be drivers. So the boss can have the proportions of Windows XP. It's the easiest way to have USB ports on it. You just have to make sure for this thing. Uh, just uh, I'll do it right now. Because I guess supposed to have to get the yeah, way. I don't think it's the best about it, but it's okay. Which Windows XP Home Edition is the easiest way to this virtual hard drive? That's his thing. Um, this is just to see you that way. You have to do it all by yourself. Of course, it always says it's supposed to do it. Now, this is information. So, this thing has to do with it. Windows XP Home Edition. This is wrong. It has to use to run Windows, and it's supposed to have to see that way because there are lots of drivers and all kinds of stuff. Anyways, look at the service pack for update. Go ahead, click next. Agree to terms. Click next. Do not archive files. Next again. But it has to get a while to install.
And then that's enough for the day. So let me go ahead and exit this video. How to do the next uh, installation? Mm -hmm. Supposed to it. So this is Julie Maui signing off on Memorial Day 2020. Goodbye.